all right what's up youtube i just finished eating after recording that reaction video and while i was eating y'all let me know the clippers just had a big trade and y'all wanted to know how i felt about it so the trade is uh patrick beverly and ray john rondo and daniel turu to the memphis grizzlies for eric bledsoe and that's it so my initial thoughts on this are yeah we we lost that trade we this doesn't make any sense like Eric Bledsoe has not had the best last few years, and so to give up <laughs> to give up Patrick Beverly and Rajon Rondo for Bledsoe, that's definitely not an even trade. Even if Bledsoe was still as good as he was when he was playing for us back in the day, that still wouldn't be a fair trade. Like Patrick Beverly and Rajon Rondo just for Eric Bledsoe and Oturu, like I that that does not make any sense the only thing that i'm thinking that would make sense is that the clippers are like they're planning something else because we did clear up a bunch of cap space doing this i think like 30 million dollars or something so maybe they just have something bigger in mind but just taking this trade in face value nah we got we got robbed we got we got robbed it does not make sense um yeah i don't know i i'm my guess is the Clippers have something bigger in mind. Maybe there's some free agents out there that they want. But I don't know. Because I was looking at the free agents that are still available. And none of them really... Like, none of them really stick out. Like, like Avery Bradley, for example. He's a free agent. But that's basically Patrick Beverly. Minus the chemistry Patrick Beverly had on the Clippers. So it's like, I'm not really sure what the Clippers are doing. Maybe they have a trade in mind. I don't know. Who knows? So, yeah, this is just an early reaction on the trade. Uh, I'm going to miss Beverly for sure. He did a lot for the Clippers. Rondo, he kind of just got here. And the same with Oturu, but, yeah, kind of sucks. Patrick Beverly always ha brought the energy, always played good defense. Another thing to keep in mind is that we traded Lou Williams and I think a second-round pick for Rajon Rondo. So now for us to be trading Rajon Rondo and Patrick Beverly just for Eric Bledsoe it's just it, it just it doesn't sound maybe we're expecting Eric Bledsoe to go back to how good he was with the Clippers and that might happen you know maybe sometime sometimes all a player needs is to you know a change in scenery but yeah the only thing that I can think of is that the Clippers have some free agents in mind to sign because I mean we did have a lot of point guards right like Reggie Jackson Patrick Beverly and Rajon Rondo um, when it came down to it, one of those guys wasn't going to be playing a lot of minutes. So I, I always felt like one of those guys had to go, but I definitely didn't expect like, two of them to go. But then again, we just got another point guard back in Eric Bledsoe. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe we want Paul Millsap. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what the Clippers are doing, but yeah, that those are my initial reactions. Something that's interesting to see is that Daniel Oturu was playing in the summer league and we just traded him to the Grizzlies. And we play the Grizzlies tomorrow, so is Oturo going to be playing? That's going to be a little awkward. 